Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 hardest Pikmin bosses. <laughs> For as calm and slow as Pikmin can be, when a boss gets thrown into the mix, these games can become quite stressful. Which boss had you scrambling to save your legion of flowery friends? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Man at Legs Pikmin 2 is already a really tough game with its wide assortment of dangerous creatures lurking around every corner. But what makes the Man at Legs a fearsome foe is its speed. Its spindly legs allow it to quickly run away from you, giving you little time to start chucking Pikmin. And its Gatling gun can make short work of your army. Your best bet is to try and ambush it by throwing purple Pikmin at it, as they are the heaviest and the most damaging type of Pikmin. Just know when you need to start running away. Float like a butterfly, sting like a scornet. Sand Belching Mirror Slug When fighting this gross and titanic slug, you will need to watch your step throughout the fight. The sand belching mirror slug takes a good amount of hits to stun and get it out of the ground. Once it burrows back down, it poses a real threat to you and your Pikmin, with attacks that can plant Pikmin or even chomp down on a massive chunk of your health. So long as you keep an eye on where it's burrowing to, you should be okay. But again, watch your step and recall those Pikmin the second they go down. <laughs> Segmented Crobster The most aggravating part about the segmented Crobster is that it doesn't really care about your Pikmin, just you. Throughout the battle, the Crobster will target you, thus forcing you to separate from your Pikmin for their sake. Even when it charges at you and misses, your Pikmin still aren't totally safe as the Crobster can cause rocks to start falling after hitting a wall. Lure the Crobster properly and be ready to attack as soon as possible. Just make sure you play it safe as much as possible instead of risk losing a chunk of your troop. <laughs> Quaggled Mireclops. The Mireclops is a beast that can make you lose many Pikmin if you don't stay on your toes. Though its only means of defense initially are just stomping and licking up Pikmin, the strategy changes once you expose its core. At this point, it'll be able to leave puddles of water when running away, killing off most of your Pikmin. It'll also become more aggressive and begin to drop to the ground and roll around with very little warning. Don't be afraid to work in smaller groups between your different leaders here. Water Wraith The Water Wraith is more of a situational difficulty. At first, this living steamroller seems impervious to just about anything you throw at it, and the caves it patrols feature many narrow pathways that make escaping it a bit of a hassle. Your only means of defense is to get you some purple Pikmin, which pack so much weight that they can shake the ground, thus making the Water Wraith vulnerable. 
be wary that you might lose a ton of Pikmin in your fight for survival, at least on your first go-around. Empress Bullbax Oh, we aren't talking about just any regular Empress. They can be formidable on their own, but the true challenge lies in the Frontier Cavern. This form of the Empress Bullbax comes with a new problem for you. In addition to her being able to roll on her sides to squash your Pikmin, she can birth Bullborb Larva on the spot, making the entire situation way more overwhelming than it needs to be. But if you want to try and cheese the fight and abuse the GameCube's technical limitations, you can lure the Bullborb Larva away with one team. The Empress is able to conceive so many larvae without setting your purple lunchbox on fire, so use the second team as a sort of sacrifice while the other team brings down Mommy Dearest. Plasm Wraith The final boss of Pikmin 3 is absolutely one of the toughest bosses in the series, and understandably so. This is the true test of your journey, the ultimate challenge to see if you understand everything there is to know about Pikmin 3. But the Plasm Wraith can make it harrowing as it is a creature that is, unlike the Armored Cannon Beetle, impervious to any and all damage. Well, at least during the chase sequence it is. Once you start the actual fight, you will have to strictly manage your teams of Pikmin to match the Wraith's elemental type, which changes throughout the battle. And make sure you bring a healthy variety of Pikmin with you. The fight will be difficult, you might wind up losing an entire team of one specific Pikmin type, and if you die, you will have to do the entire mission again from the very beginning. Smoky Prog. You could say this hidden boss was what gave Pikmin such a notable reputation among GameCube owners. The Smoky Prog boasts some powerful defense as it emits a noxious gas that can damage both Pikmin and Olimar. On top of that, it can wade through you and your troops effortlessly while boasting a high amount of health. Should you choose to bring down the creature, you better have a solid strategy in mind and know that a lot of Pikmin are going to be lost in the fight. Titan Dweevil We have seen so many vicious creatures pop up from Pikmin 2, but at the end of the day, get it? No monster has been as devious, as cruel, as devastating as the Titan Dweevil. This mechanical monstrosity wields four weapons that take advantage of the different elements you'll see. It will set fire to your Pikmin, it will electrocute your Pikmin, make them explode, or even just straight up drown them. It is heavily advised that you bring some ultra spicy and ultra bitter sprays if you want to bring this thing down as quickly as possible. Good luck to you, Captain. The Ancient Sirehound This shaggy dog isn't as friendly as Ochi, it's more like Moss, overprotective and very, very aggressive. The ancient Sirehound unleashes Hell in five different forms that utilize almost every element, each phase requiring a solid understanding of Pikmin 4's mechanics.
It is heavily advised that you use Ochi as much as possible to make the most of your attacks and defenses. And that final phase is about as dangerous as our initial battle with the Smoky Prog. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.